Hello everyone, this is Vikas from Ismail Academy and today we are going to start a new video series on Firebase authentication with email as well as the phone number. So we'll be integrating those authentication system together so that user will be able to log in using the either email address or he can log in using the phone number and when he use the phone number he'll receive the otp in his phone num phone and we're going to authenticate that user so regardless of what authentication system he use he'll be redirected to the same profile user profile he has or he has created before i already have the separate videos on firebase email authentication as well as the firebase of uh, phone authentication and uh, those videos are fairly long but uh, i hope this series is going to be as short as possible so now i'm going to show you guys the demo of the application so i have already developed the final version of the application so i'm going to show you guys what we're going to be building in this particular video series okay so I, i'm saying video series because it's going to be at least three or four videos long so you have to be patient enough to uh, wait for all those videos to be uploaded into the channel and watch it and make it so uh, also let me know in the comment below what do you want you want me to upload each and every video at once or you want me to upload one video at a time okay so if i make four videos then i'm going to upload that video in a four days in the span of four days or if you like i can upload all those videos in uh, same time but uh, what i feel like is that if i upload each and every video at the same day it's not going to get that kind of attention because people are going to get um, tired of watching one videos and they are not going to watch another one so uh, it will get the less retention and you know the youtube algorithm if the videos get let re less retention then it's not going to do very well in the future or in the coming day so that's why i want your opinion on that and also if you like this kind of stuff don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel so that we'll be able to bring more videos for you on android app development okay so my phone screen is open and you can see the application that we have here it's called email and phone and i'm going to open this and you can see here we have the login and sign up uh, view so i have implemented the tab layout here so yes we are going to implement the tab layout to have the login and sign up uh, activity or fragment separately in our uh, main activity and here you can see we can give the name of uh, username or email address and password to log in using email and password and if user wants to log in with the phone he can do that as well and here at the time of sign at the time of registering the new account he can give all these details and once he uh, enter the number um, it's going to send the otp and he can register the account okay so let me show you how it's work so i'm going to create the new account and i'm gonna fill the details that we need okay and also i have checked the um i have also validated the all the data that is entered by the user so that means if user do not enter one of the field let's say i just hit the register then it says we need to enter the password and i have also checked if the pa password and the confirm password are same or not and all those good stuff you know that is the essential things that we need to implement as well and i have done that so you can learn how to do that as well in this video series and um, let me fill all the details and i'm going to add my number that is present in this phone and make sure that to receive the otp you need to use the physical phone you can't use the emulator if you want to use the emulator then you need to use the uh, test numbers and i'll show you that as well how to create the test number in in, uh, in firebase console to test out this particular application i have done that as well so here i'm going to add the my numbers okay and now if i hit register uh, it's going to pop up some uh, it says the account is created okay and i received my otp here you can see this is the otp that i got and he, he, here you can see i'm on the dashboard now i'm directly logged into this particular account and now i can log in from here log out from here and go back to the login screen and i will try to log in with the account that i just created and if i hit login it's going to send me to the dashboard and make sure uh, i have uh, displayed the email here 
so even if i log in using the phone number or even if i log in using the email it's going to display the same data because these both account are integrated together okay so i'm just going to log out again and gonna log in using the phone number only so you can see as, as soon as i hit the login the phone it's going to hide all other component and it's only going to display the field that let us enter the number so i'm going to enter my number and click on login and as soon i as soon as i hit that it's going to send the otp and it's auto it's going to automatically detect that and send me to the dashboard so this is the working of our final application that th this is what we're going to build in this particular series okay and here uh, you may have noticed that it's automatically going to detect the otp and um, send me to the dashboard but if your particular phone do not have that feature because uh, your phone should have that auto detecting features to be able to uh, do this authentication automatically if not you can uh, type the otp yourself you know in that screen and click on verify and it's going to uh, send you to the dashboard if you enter the otp correctly if not it's going to give you the error obviously and uh, there are one more features i have implemented there and that is to resend the otp so if by some reason if you don't receive the otp after one minute it's going to let you uh, resend the otp and you can um, start the process all over again to log in this particular application okay so that being said uh, we are going to have create this application and i i'm really excited that you are going to learn something and if you want to learn only to implement the firebase uh, authentication using phone number there is a video on that as well in the channel and i'll link that into the description and if you want to learn about only the email authentication we also have video on that as well and uh, if you want to go ahead and do the more uh, more advanced stuff like uh, storing the profile data storing the image or uh, you know letting the user upload the profile pictures as all that good stuff i have a video on that as well so you can go ahead on the channel and watch it otherwise i will link that in the description so so th this was the preview of this video series i'm going to end this video here and and hit that like button it will help me to reach to the more people who wants to learn the firebase authentication and i will see you in my next video bye bye